Hello, and welcome to this Bceptor tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to create a SOAP mock server. SOAP messaging operates over HTTP with XML-based envelopes. This makes it quite straightforward to mock with Bceptor. We'll start by using a Bceptor endpoint named SOAP mock server. I have a pre-created WSDL definition as a mock rule. When an HTTP request exactly matches this path, it returns the full WSDL definition. Let's save this rule. Next, create a new rule. Set the request method as post and make sure the request path starts with slash credit score. Add an AND condition to check for the presence of the get credit score action in the request body. For the response, set the content type to XML and specify the expected response payload. This response will send a credit score of 750. Let's save this rule. Our SOAP mock server is now ready. I'll switch to my Node.js application to create a SOAP client using the base URL, along with the WSDL parameter. Once the client is created, it invokes the Get Credit Score action with a specific customer ID. Finally, the code prints the response. Let's trigger this code. You can see that a request was made to the Credit Score SOAP service, and it returned a score of 750, as configured in Bceptor. Now let's head back to the Bceptor dashboard where you can see two new requests. The first one is for retrieving WSDL by the application. The second one is an actual SOAP call to retrieve the credit score. This request returned a credit score of 750 for the given customer ID. You can create additional mock definitions to match various types of SOAP actions. That's how you set up a SOAP mock server. Feel free to give this a try for free at Bceptor. Thank you.